What's going on guys? It's me, Dan Fernick, our films here, and this video goes to out to all of you potatoes out there who cannot play Call of Duty. Alright, I got you. I got you. It doesn't matter if you're new or you simply suck at the game, I've come up with a class that is so good. Alright, so before I get into the actual video, I go 30 and 12 in this game on Rise with the ICR1. And yes, that is the gun we are going to be using and don't say oh this is a clickbait thumbnail it is not clickbait thumbnail because this gun is an absolute freaking laser all right obviously there are no laser guns in black ops 3 that that i mean there's a ray gun in zombies but that, that's a ray not a laser it's a, it's a ray not a laser you freaking idiot oh, star trek um anyway so yeah it, it just fires in a straight line so recently uh, uh not what the freak am i saying okay trey arc david freaking mr amadeus vonderhaar Decided to buff the ICR, uh, the ICR-1, and, um, it really, uh, reduced its recoil. It had good recoil to start with. I mean, it was a noob gun at first that any noob could just pick up and just shoot people. Yes, it's not the most powerful gun, and it's still not the most powerful gun, but it can get the job done. Um, you can challenge head glitchers, people that just, you know, stand behind cover, and it's just, because it's just it's so accurate. Um, so in this game, you know how there's no toughness, like in Advanced Warfare? Well, um, when you get shot, you know, there's recoil on your gun. This, this barely has any recoil, so you can challenge literally any single gun. Um, maybe not the M8, because, you know, like, if the M8 is on a head glitch, or, I mean, if the M8 user is on a head glitch, <laughs> I don't know what I just said. Don't ask, that sounds like a racial slur. <laughs> a head glitcher. You know, we need to start that. We need to actually start that. But, yeah, you can, you can now challenge people. That's what I'm trying to say. But, um, yeah, this gun is just so good. But I, this is a class, I want to tell you. So... You know, don't, it's not fancy, you're not going to put rapid fire and kill people faster, it's just a basic class. So, obviously, you need the ICR-1 um, for the optical. I picked the red red dot sight because it's just a basic sight. The ELOs can sometimes be hard to control. I don't know what it is about it, it's just, it's a little bit weird to mess with your head, you know, having the top thing off. It's more clean, I'll, I'll say that, but if you, it's just a preference. I, got, you, I guess you can pick the ELO sight, but, you know, I would... I prefer the red dot sight just because of how, I, I don't know, I don't, it's, it's just old school Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? Um, next, you need foregrip, obviously, it makes it even more of a laser, which, it just, look at this right here, oh my god, the, the trash, the trashery, um, that, that's what I mean, you barely saw any recoil when I was shooting there, because of the foregrip, and then, um, quick draw to get a, uh, sort of an advantage over your, the person that you're about to shoot because um, you want to fire first. You can't win the gunfight most in most Call of Duties if you don't fire first unless you have terrible aim, which this gun is really easy to control, so you want to fire first. So, that, that's that's that. So now, um, for equipment, um, just a basic Semtex. Basic Semtex grenade, alright? Actually, wait, 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 okay, 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 okay. We'll, we'll do that and then we'll go to secondary. Um, just a basic Semtex grenade, alright? You don't need to worry about cooking a frag grenade. Just throw it on a Semtex. It'll charge up and blow someone up. And it's just really easy to use. Frag grenades can sometimes be hard getting the timing down right, bouncing off of walls and stuff. This just sticks to whatever it is, and you can get some really cool kills with it and impress your friends. And um, next, you want a concussion grenade. Uh, it is the best tactical grenade in the game. I do believe so. The flashbang isn't really good this year, but... Um, yeah, it's, I wouldn't really recommend it because I've died many times using a flashbang and concussion always works better because they can barely move when they are concussed and oh my god, I, how did I escape that? I, I still to this day don't know and then I get a kill there. That, that's just amazing. Um, yeah, so now back up to secondary. You're going to get the black cell or the rocket launcher. I forget the name. I think it's the XM53 if I'm not mistaken. Um, shoot down kill streaks or sh shoot down UAVs and counter UAVs to really help your team out and get you the win if you're going for the win. Oh, uh, that was an idiotic move after that triple hellstorm, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, just, just, uh, what was I saying? You use the black cell, use the rocket launcher. Your number one priority is going to be to shoot down things and help out your team because, again, you're not the best player, but you can still get the job done. And I don't know what's taking so long. Well, okay, okay, it was just the end of the uh, half. Now, all right, now the perks. Uh, the perk one you're going to use is Sixth Sense. Um, it lets you know when enemies are near. Um, with this assault rifle, you know you, you don't really want to rush because I really think of some sub machine guns as rushing type guns where you get up right in their face, all quick like, and just destroy them. Um, when you're using assault rifle, you want to keep everything in front of you, sort of like a sniper, but you are more mobile than a sniper. 
So you want six cents to uh, show you if people are flanking or they're below you or just something so you can get uh, the advantage over them if they don't have six cents. And six cents is a really great perk. Um, yeah, don't worry about uh, flashbangs or uh, any of that. Or I mean, tact you don't need to worry about tactical mask or flak jacket because you know you, you can move out of the way. You don't want to just run up into a grenade because one, you're gonna be using a saw rifle like I just said, and uh, yeah, you're gonna be pretty far back. So if they if you do die to a grenade, then that's my fault. Um, but next uh, for the second perk, I always use fast hands. Um, you reload faster, you aim faster while sprinting. It just gives you that extra edge over your opponents again. Um, I, I'm not sure how many rounds are in the um, ICR to be get, like the, the one of the regular magazines. So uh, you just throw fast hands on. You might need to fire a lot, but um, yeah, it just it's just really a nice perk. And then finally, we got ourselves blast suppressor. You don't want to be showing up on the map, uh, although you won't be really moving that much. Um, you won't really. There's not really other any perk that you need. Um, and then for score streaks, you can just pick whatever you want. Uh, get. You know, don't pick whatever you want. Listen to this. Listen to this. You need the uh, UAV, counter UAV, and um, a care package. All right, the, just the three basic ones. It will really help your team out using this class, and you can stop being a freaking potato and sucking, and just get better at the game. And um, if you want to see the class um, in the, I'll, I'll put um, it in the description so you guys can just get a visual of it instead of just listening to my voice. But I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. You can go beast like uh, 30 and 12. You're not going to go like 70 and 1 right when you start using this class, but I, I hope it makes you a better player. Just remember to stay cautious. Always look at your uh, mini-map. Um, that's what new players sometimes don't do. They always just look ahead, and then they always get flanked or something, and then it's just bad. But uh, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Comment, subscribe, uh, like for more if you want to see this. Uh, eat your veggies, go to school, dank our films out. Peace!